quick Patreon mention, this month we did the Skyrim Compass world map and travel system. And we've also done a networked survival game along with a bunch of other stuff. Basically, if you sign up, you'll get access to all of the exclusive videos that get released. And you'll get a new video every month while you are still a patron. So, definitely go check that out if you enjoy my stuff and want some more. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today we're going to make a whiteboard in Unreal 4 using render targets. And render targets are really cool. You can do a lot with them. Um, way more than just making a whiteboard. There's like, you can draw height onto things. Uh, I know Epic Games have actually done water simulation with this. So, you know, if something falls into the water, they can use render targets to draw ripples onto the water where the object fell into the water. And it gives you a really nice realistic look. We're not going to be covering water today because it's very complicated, but what we are going to do today is our whiteboard. Um, the first thing we need is render target. To make one of those, you right click. I've made a folder here called whiteboard, by the way. Uh, you want to right click and go to canvas render target. And we're going to call this RT underscore whiteboard. So a little bit of information about the type of project that I'm in. I'm in a first person template project. And what I've done is I opened up the project settings and I typed in the search box UV and you want to make sure that is checked. Support UV from hit results. That's very important. If you don't check that, you won't be able to get your UVs from your hit results, which is very important for this tutorial. Basically, this feature allows us to find out what part of the material we've actually hit. So, uh, what is a render target? A render target is a collection of pixels that we can basically write to at runtime, which is really nice. Uh, I'm fairly sure in 4.13 they introduced the feature to be able to write to a render target, which is really nice stuff. I'm going to go with a size of 5.12 for my render target. Do note that the bigger you make it, the, um, the more inefficient it will become. So, uh, we need a couple of materials here. I'm going to start off with my whiteboard material. So we're going to go to material. I'm going to make a material called M underscore whiteboard. Open that up. So what I'm going to do is hold T on my keyboard and click. Hold V and click. And then also make a constant three vector. So we need three values here. This texture sample is going to use my whiteboard render target. And whatever I write to the render target is going to appear in a white color. This is going to be the color of my whiteboard. So I'm going to change this to a value of white. And then this is going to be the color that I draw to the whiteboard in. I want my whiteboard marker to be a blue color, so I'm going to change the B to 1 and the A to 1, and now I have this blue color. And so I can get the blue here, hold M on your keyboard to make a multiply, plug that in, plug that in. And what that's going to do is it's going to take all the white data in this render target and multiply it by blue to get the blue color. Anything that is not blue is going to be white. And the way that we do this is by using a linear interpolate. If you hold L on your keyboard and click anywhere, you can plug this in here, this in here, and finally plug this in here. What this is going to do is any pixels that are white are going to be this blue color, and any pixels that are black are going to be this white color. We can plug that into base color. And then finally, I'm going to plug a constant value of zero in for my roughness, and that will give us a nice shiny effect. And because whiteboards are generally shiny, that works for us. The next thing that we want to make is a whiteboard marker material. So we're going to make a material to actually draw with as well. So we need to call this, I'm going to go with whiteboard marker, that's fine. Open that up. Now the way that the whiteboard marker works is Basically, there's no way in blueprints to say where we're going to draw to on the render target. You actually have to handle this inside of the uh, material. So I'm going to make a vector parameter. Hold V on your keyboard to make it. And I'm going to call this draw location. So this is the location that we want to draw to. And I'm going to use RNG as my X and Y values. 
So I'm going to set this to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, which is basically saying draw directly in the center of the whiteboard. I'm going to mask the R and the G values out so that we only get R and G and not B and A as well because we don't need those values. And then we're going to use a texture coordinate. And subtract these two values from each other and essentially at the end we'll have a little dot in the middle of our texture which will be quite nice and we can use that to draw with. I'm going to type vector length to get the length of my vector. I'm going to subtract 1. Make a scalar parameter. Hold O on your keyboard to make a 1 minus node and plug that in there. That in there. We're going to clamp the value to be between 0 and 1. And then finally what we're going to do is we're going to divide it by this value here. So go ahead and divide and plug it in there. And then finally you can plug this into the emissive color. Click on the material here and change it to be additive. If it's not additive, we won't be able to draw because every time we try to draw, it will remove the last thing that we drew from the whiteboard, which is not what you want at all. And then we can make this unlit because we don't need any lighting. We're just drawing to a render target. And I'm going to click on this scalar here and change the parameter name to be draw size. Okay, so in terms of textures, we've actually made all of the materials and texture stuff, um, and now we're ready to make the blueprint itself, which is probably one of the easiest parts. So we're going to make a blueprint class of type actor, and I'll call this BP underscore whiteboard. We're going to add a static mesh and drag that onto the default scene route. And search for glass. Uh, the glass window is pretty much perfect for our whiteboard. And just make sure to change the material here to the whiteboard material that we're using. One more thing that you need to do, and this will drive you crazy if you don't do this, so please remember. Open this glass window up and change this setting to use complex collision as simple. If you don't do that, it won't use complex collision and that's a really big deal. Because otherwise we can't get the UVs later on. We're going to create a dynamic material instance so that we can move that marker around that we just made. So go ahead and select the whiteboard marker. And then we're going to store this in a variable. So I think you can do promote to variable. There you go. And we're going to call this uh, whiteboard marker underscore MI for material instance. And also, every time I begin playing the game, I want to just clear the whiteboard. And to clear the whiteboard, I just need to clear the render target. And we do that using clear render target 2D. And we're just going to clear it to black. If you cleared it to white, the entire whiteboard would be a blue color. Okay, so we have done that. Now I'm going to make an event called draw on whiteboard. And we're just going to have one input, which is where do we want to draw on the whiteboard. And that's going to be a vector 2D. Which I will call location to draw. So for the draw location, uh, what we want to do is we want to set the vector parameter value. If you hold control, in fact you don't even need to do that. If you type set vector parameter value, hold control, drag that onto the, uh, actually no, we'll just do it this way, hold control, drag that in, and set vector parameter value. Now you remember that our vector parameter, which was called draw location, it wants four different values, however we're only passing in two values, we have a vector 2D, and it's asking for a linear color structure, which is four values. So what we're going to do is convert this to a vector and then plug that into there and that will put it in. And then once we've done that, once we've set the draw location, 
we can actually draw the material to our render target. So to do that, you type draw material to render target, plug the material into there, plug the whiteboard in there, and now we're pretty much good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that when we're holding the right mouse button down, it will actually draw to the whiteboard. So I'll open up the character here, and we can start adding some blueprint code to our character. So we're going to start off by adding a variable called isDrawing. And then you can right click and type right mouse button. Hold Alt to set this value and drag it in. So when I press the right mouse button, we're going to start drawing and stop drawing when I release. And we want to draw every frame, so type tick, create a branch, hold control to get the value of a variable. So if we are supposed to be drawing, I'm going to use a line trace by channel. And I'm going to start drawing at the location of the player's camera. So we get the camera, get the world location from that, and then we can plug that into the start. And to get the end location, what I'm going to do is get the forward vector, multiply that by a float, and the higher that you make this float number, the further away you'll be able to be from the whiteboard and still draw to it. So I'm using 500 there. And then finally, we add a vector to a vector. So we add them together, and that is our end point. Make sure trace complex is selected. And finally, we can check if the hit actually hit something by dragging this out and typing branch to make a branch. So if we did hit something, we're going to check what we hit. If we hit a whiteboard, then we can use our method, which is draw to whiteboard, or draw on whiteboard. And it wants to know where to draw on the whiteboard. So to get the point to draw to, you just drag out, type in UV, and find the collision UV. Plug that in. And we should be good to go. I'm going to drag my whiteboard into the level. And then you have it. We can now draw to the whiteboard. And you can change things around to change the color or do whatever you want really. So there you have it guys, that's how to use render targets in UE4 to make stuff like a whiteboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did definitely let me know in the comments and I will see you guys later.